All right, the forecast was chilly this morning, going to get even colder maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it feels good right now, though, yeah. Sean. It does. Beautiful out there right now. If you have the opportunity to enjoy it, it's uh, obviously looking better and feeling better. It's kind of chilly this morning. We're going to get that uh, as a trend over the next couple of days that actually goes south. In other words, temperatures get a little colder tomorrow and then even colder on Friday. After that, it warms up. Let's take a look at what we have out there right now. San Marcos, live from the Chuck Nash Chevy Buick GMC dealership. You can see the, uh, the car lot. You can see just past the car lot. You can see that uh, street across there and out on queue, cars come across. Those are uh, actually cars on I 35, so traffic looks good out there. You can see that the skies are almost clear. There's a cloud or two that is floating off in the distance on the left side of the screen. Kind of hard to make out, but it is there. And it is a good indication of a few clouds that we've seen around the area. Not a big deal. I'll point out why we're watching that, though. 58 degrees and sunny, winds out of the north at 12 miles per hour. Humidity, 42%, 2.35. Pressure, 30.33. And falling, we have uh, had some beautiful weather this morning, although it has been pretty cold. We have 50s right now 54 in Mason, 52 in Fredericksburg, 58 here in Austin, 62 out of the airport, 61 in Georgetown. We've got 63 in San Marcos, 60 in Lockhart, and then 61 out of LaGrange. 50s for everybody else, but typically upper 50s, so it is warming up across the area. Statewide, temperatures running in the 40s right now in Amarillo. Very cold air there. 53 in Lubbock, 53 in Midland, 55 in San Angelo. You can come around the corner here to 63 in San Antonio, and then we hold in the 60s to the south. So it is a front that has cooled down the state of Texas, but there's an interesting little feature out to the west of us. Watch this. A little bit of cloud cover came in this morning. Had a few sprinkles in it. I'm not seeing any of that uh, in our viewing area, but if you live out in Gillespie County, maybe out Harper, maybe some of that can be seen clouding up a little bit there. What we're seeing are just a few high thin clouds. So this looks a, a lot more ominous on this map than it is in reality. It's high thin clouds out there. Could it gray up the skies a little bit? It could, mainly out to the west where we're seeing the clouds a little bit thicker. There may be a, a sprinkle or two to be had out there, but uh, it's not going to be anything more than that. So with that in mind, our pattern for the next couple of days is this, breezy and cooler, chilly nights ahead, really chilly mornings ahead is what I should say. Some freezing temps are possible, and that would be more towards Friday area-wide, but it's not to rule out a possibility for a freeze tomorrow morning in maybe some outlying areas or at least very close to it. You don't have to get to freezing to cause trouble for uh, pets, and of course, uh, we're always worried about the plants. Uh, they don't wait for freezing either. Sometimes they can get uh, damaged just from very cold temperatures that don't hit freezing. Here's the way things were this morning, 7 a.m., clear cloud cover out to the west. And then our forecast model brought the clouds in pretty much where they are right now for noontime, just approaching the area. So I'm happy with that. I think it's got a good grasp of it. Got a shower or two possible, and it's showing a possibility for that to the south. Then during the day today and into the afternoon, you can see that cloud cover moves a little bit further north. What does it do for overnight temps? Well, it may be able to hold in just a little bit of warmth. If that's the case, we won't get so cold. I always say second day after a front comes in is the coldest, but we have kind of a, a tertiary effect, if you will, on this, an extra product that comes in, and that's that cloud cover. So that may hold it back. What happens after that into tomorrow, though, is that it clears off and into Friday morning, and you can see that right there. Skies are clear, the winds die down, cold air in place. You've got a good opportunity to get some cold temperatures around here, and we think that's the case. 66, got a few high thin clouds out there. Winds out of the north, that'll continue tonight. 43, and then our seven day forecast has temperatures even colder for, uh, you can see on Friday, 39 to 69. Clear skies, though. We start off with a clear, quiet, cool morning. Obviously, going to be a freeze concern for a lot of areas. Into the weekend, it does warm up. In fact, nice weekend. And then maybe a little bit of cloud cover and a few sprinkles possible on Monday.